And with that, I would like to welcome you. I'd like to welcome you to the Citizen Services Building, the new home of many of the operations of the Citizen Services Division of Frederick County Government. I can speak for many of us when I say that we are delighted to return to the heart of the city of Frederick and for so many of our services to be co-located again to be able to better serve our clients and the residents of Frederick County. We also have to point out that we are perfectly situated, if you look around, between the creek, which has steps that come right down here, McCutcheon's, and Attaboy, <laughs> which is pretty awesome. My name is Monica Grant. I'm the director of the Division of Citizen Services for Frederick County Government, and it's my pleasure to, um, to both welcome you and MC today. It's great to see staff, colleagues, neighbors, and community members here. And I really do appreciate your turning out to be able to provide us with support, support as we celebrate these new, this new location for us. Um, I'd like to acknowledge the following elected officials. Juliana Albowitz is representing Senator um, Chris Van Hollen's office. We have County Executive Jan Gardner. We have council, County Council President Bud Otis, Sydney Seikert is here representing Councilwoman Jessica Fitzwater. We have Alderwoman Kelly Russell and Alderwoman Donna Kazumchek. It's my pleasure now to um, welcome County Executive Jan Gardner, who will say a few words in recognition of this event. Thank you, Thank you Monica, and good afternoon, everyone. Isn't it a beautiful day? Yeah. It's really uh, fabulous. So I want to thank all of you for being here today to join us for the ribbon cutting of our new Citizen Services building. This project accomplishes two key things. First, the focus is always on serving our citizens and serving them well. Second, it helped us to leverage our assets to make sure that we get the biggest bat bang for our buck, that we use our resources widely, wisely. This project leverages our financial and our physical assets to get the most out of what we have and ensures the delivery of efficient and effective services. And we wanna make sure we leverage our human resources as well to better connect with each other and to collaboratively serve people. The Citizen Services Division is all about taking care of people and helping people to live a better life. We help people who are looking for housing opportunities through our Department of Housing and Community Development. We help people and our nonprofit human service agency partners um, seeking resources to better the lives of children and their families through our Office for Children and Families. And we help people looking for assistance through our Human Relations Department to make sure that everybody in our community is treated fairly and is treated with dignity and respect. Our goal is to help people all around the, uh, the county to live their best life and to be productive citizens and community members. The services provided by the Division of Citizen Services ensures that our citizens can live and work in Frederick County, that our children can thrive and grow in a safe and healthy environment, and that our community can be a place where everyone benefits from the opportunities we share. Many of the agencies that are located now in this building serve some of the same people. So by being together in one place, staff can identify common needs, approaches, and better serve these people in a well-coordinated way and avoid duplication. And we can leverage their experiences and their resources. And these connections uh, make sure that the services we provide are streamlined and that collaboration will ultimately strengthen our community. I mentioned the secondary goal of leveraging our assets to get the most out of our dollars. Well, one of my goals after becoming county executive was to get the county out of as much lease space as we possibly could. And that, that's been achieved through a number of uh, projects that we've done over the last uh, year or two. I also um, think we have, and I need, we think we have to acknowledge that we've saved a lot of money on the renovation of this building by using an in-house maintenance crew from our Division of Public Works to do the renovation instead of hiring outside contractors. 
By doing the work in-house, we were able to save an impressive amount of project costs, as much as $250,000, and that really is significant. Staff came into this building um, to, to do the construction, and it's an old building. It was originally built in 1969 and had not been renovated uh, recently. And if you get to see when you take a tour of the building that they've done a fabulous job. They've really turned it into beautiful space. So I want to thank the director of our Division of Public Works, Chuck Knipe, project manager Brett Fouché, and Wayne Hoddle, who coordinated the work of the maintenance crews. And I really want to thank the maintenance staff themselves for the great work that they've done to renovate this building. It really is uh, fabulous. And of course, I want to thank and give congratulations to our Citizen Service Division Director, Monica Grant, and to her staff and all the people who will work in this building. Great things will happen every day inside this building, and we'll make sure that the people in Frederick County and the City of Frederick are well served and have that, that bright future. So we can't do anything in county government uh, without the support of the County Council. Um, you know, obviously when we put the budget together for this building, both for the renovation of the building and also for all the services that are provided in this building, it comes with the support of the majority of our county council. So I'd like to ask uh, the council president, Bud Otis, if he would like to come up and to say a few words. Uh, I have to give you but let me just say a couple words first uh, Monica the work you do is really important uh, I, I really respect the work that's going to take place in this building as you touch the lives of real people and provide them a service it's a it's a great privilege that we have to provide a space where you can do your job the best you can do it so blessings on you as you do it let me read this certificate for you. The County Executive of the County Council of Frederick County, Maryland, congratulates the Citizens Service Division upon the ribbon cutting of your newly renovated facilities. We celebrate the new offices for the Citizen Service Division at Sagner Avenue that include Divisions Administration, Human Relations Department, Department of Housing and Community Development and Office of, for Children and Families. The Phil's, Facilities also provide offices for the Frederick County Commission for Women and Maryland's Attorney General Consumer Protection Office. This co-location of offices provides a more accessible site for the citizens of the division services, including those who use transit and improve collaboration and communication among county programs. We wish you continued success serving the citizens of Frederick County Signed, Jan H. Gardner, County Executive, and myself as County President. We present this to you today on the 25th day of October, 2017. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Go get them. <laughs> great location. Uh, I would have never dreamed it was built in 69. It looks great. And I think it's a great home. And I hope it gives you a little lift in your step and your brakes go out and walk on the canal. What a place to work. Wow, I'm really impressed. I'm really happy and nobody deserves it more than you guys. All right, I also want to recognize um, our other elected officials who are here who want to uh, present a certificate. So why don't you come up, Juliana, and present what you have on behalf of Senator Van Hollen. Thank you, Jan. Uh, it's always an honor and a privilege for me to represent the Senator, and especially in Frederick. It's the happening place. Um, anything that I'm doing, I think everything I've done this week I'm reporting back to the senator, and there must be like 10 Frederick things that I've done this week. I am fortunate. And as Bud told you, after you do your walk along the creek and work is done, you have Attaboy Beer over there. So you can go and talk about your daily happenings over there. It's a great place. I was also there when they opened Attaboy. So on behalf of the senator, 
I would like to present the senatorial citation to Frederick County government in celebration of the ribbon cutting for its new citizen services division office in appreciation of the broad range of services its new office will offer to the residents of Frederick County and with gratitude for all it does to improve collaboration and communication between its departments and to ensure its services are accessible to all residents of our community. Signed, Chris Van Hollen, United States Senator, on this the 25th of October, 2017. Congratulations, ladies. And then we welcome up, welcome up Kelly Russell, and I don't know if you want to bring Donna up too, to present a certificate on behalf of the City of Frederick. Thank you, Madam Executive, and congratulations. Pardon the sunglasses, but I simply can't look into the sun. <laughs> I know everybody's squinting. Um, on behalf of the mayor, first I send his regrets. He's in Baltimore today in meetings. But the city of Frederick wants to congratulate you for uh, bringing these services back down to the heart of the county, which is the city of Frederick. We know that people can access services better when they are close together, and we know that services can be delivered more efficiently when they are co-located together. And that goal that the county has, and also that the city has, I think is critical um, in providing the best constituent service that we can. So on behalf of the city of Frederick, and all the women, because Jack and I who are here to represent, uh, for co-locating departments to provide a more accessible site to serve the human ser services needs of Frederick County citizens and improving collaboration and communication among community programs. Congratulations on your grand opening. We're very excited. Well, thank you. Um, we would not have this beautiful building if it weren't for the work of our um, colleagues in the Department of Public Works. And I just want to give a little, just a little shout out to the crew that worked on this building. They have been an absolute joy to work with from the first day that we came over to visit the building before there was even a wall in place. They have been very accommodating. They've been great at explaining things. They've kept us informed every step of the way. And it, you know, I, I don't know what I expected, but I certainly didn't expect it to be such an, uh, I'm going to say, just a really easy, lovely process. I'm very happy to invite Director Chuck Knight from the Department of Public Works up to give us a, a few words about um, his role, his staff's role in building this place. Thank you, Monica. Good afternoon. The Division of Public Works attends a lot of ribbon cuttings because we're responsible for county building projects, but we are particularly privileged to be here today in the role of contractor. I'd first like to thank the project architect, Nolker and Hall, and its subconsultants who provided DPW's Office of Project Management staff design services. We were assisted by subcontractors who handled specialty items, as well as the county's first class IIT staff who cabled alongside of us and Park's incredible staff that landscaped and cleaned up the mess after, after us. <laughs> but our maintenance renovation crew members, supported by their maintenance colleagues, were largely responsible for the transformation of this 10,000 square foot facility for the Citizen Services Division. The maintenance renovation crew updated water and sewer infrastructure, upgraded outdated electrical and structural components, installed a new HVAC system, furnishes and finishes, at a cost almost 20% under budget. While I'm thrilled they underachieved in terms of expense, the building's interior displays their over-the-top craftsmanship and outstanding commitment to quality. Citizen Services staff have called DPW's project team amazing, and I won't argue that. I'm extremely fortunate to work with these high caliber people. Lastly, I'd be remiss if I didn't acknowledge County Executive Gardner's support of a partnered approach with the local contracting community and her for foresight in authorizing the creation of the maintenance renovation crew, which were essential to bringing us together today. As you tour Sagner, please join me and extend your appreciation to the project team. Thank you.
Um, at this at this time, I'd like to invite. Um, um, let's see, who am I inviting? We're going to have our ribbon cutting, and I'd like to invite County Executive Jan Gardner, County Council President Bud Otis, Director Chuck Chuck Knipe, to join me here. Mm -hmm. 